Casio lays claim to several icons of affordability, including the F91W and the A168. Simple digital watches with passionate followings that almost seem bigger than the watches themselves. But there is another analog watch from Casio that has cemented itself as an enthusiast favorite over the course of the past decade, the $60 Casio Duro. In this video, we'll take a closer look at the Duro and talk about what makes this humble dive watch a cult classic. Let's jump in. Before jumping in looking at this Duro, if you love all things affordable dive watches, check out the selection we have on teddybaldasar.com. A couple ones that I'll call out, mostly from Orient. I think Orient, when you're talking about definitive mechanical watchmaking at an affordable perspective, especially from dive watches, I think this is some of the best value you're going to find. You can look at models like the Cano, which I think is maybe one of the most tasteful designs the brand offers, great value just north of $200. Or if you want maybe the epitome of value in a dive watch from a mechanical perspective, that is, look at the Kamasu. Sapphire crystal, very wearable case for a variety of wrists out there. Check them out, they're available on teddyballister.com, full authorized dealer of over 30 brands. Links in the description down below. Starting with just a bit of history, the Duro was launched back in 2011 with a 44 millimeter stainless steel case, dependable Japanese quartz caliber, and a solid level of finishing for the price. The Duro also called the Marlin, thanks to its six o'clock dial graphic, quickly caught on and earned a reputation among collectors as one of the best, truly inexpensive dive watches on the market. Now, before you start hammering your fists, I do understand that the Vostok Amphibia is in a similar price range and also is very much there in terms of having some of the best value in this range. And as someone who has a great deal of respect for Vostok, I have been able to do an complete review of the Amphibia. It has an in-house caliber. However, the Vostok is manufactured in much smaller quantities and is frankly a great deal and harder to get a hold of compared to something like the Duro that you can pick up pretty much anywhere, Walmart or Amazon giving the humble Casio the edge in this case in terms of sheer availability, while also being better finished pretty much across the board. I think it's just a different animal at the end of the day. Casio sold well over 600,000 units of the original Dial Duro, a serious testament to the utility of the design, both for enthusiasts as well as, and more importantly in terms of sales, the mass market. In 2020, Casio added the blue and gilt dial variants before launching several more colors as well as a Pepsi style bezel inserts earlier this year. Clear evidence that Casio understands the watch's favored position, which is always nice to see from a major brand. For the purpose of this video, we're going to focus on what I would consider the most universally appealing Duros to date, the original black dial and the newer blue dial variant. Diving into our overview, it makes sense to start with one of the more discussed aspects of the Duro family, the surprisingly large case diameter and unique wearing experience offered by this cult classic diver. With a measured 44 millimeter width, not including the crown, the Duro is by no means a small watch with a broad primary dial surface that offers some presence. However, as is the case with many other Japanese dive watches, a restrained lug to lug measurement of 49 millimeters helps keep this watch's wearing experience under control. And I'd say this case wears closer to that of a true 42 millimeter watch on the wrist, if not slightly smaller. A relatively slender 12 millimeter height only aids in creating comfort in the wearing experience Set between 20 millimeter lugs, we have one of the most noticeable weaknesses of the cheap feeling resin diver style strap that does do the job, but looks and feels its price to a far greater degree than the rest of the watch. At this price range, it would be fair to expect little to nothing in way of attention paid to the case architecture and finishing, but this Duro manages to deliver above what its price tag might indicate. With vertically brushed tops to the subtly rounded lugs, as well as polishing on the case flanks and along the soft bevel that travels the length of the case. At three, a polished screw down crown is protected by crown guards that also makes this case design easy on the back of your hand. Factoring in the simply adorned screw down case back, home to another Marlin motif, the Duro is rated for 200 meters of water resistance, making this a legitimate option for pretty much anything except the most extreme underwater adventures, and more than capable for an everyday watch to reach for in a variety of different conditions. Turning the watch back over, we take up view of a flat mineral crystal 
sported by a unidirectional elapsed time bezel with a polished coin edge and a simple aluminum insert. The bezel action is 120 clicks and exhibits a small presence of play in both examples with some difficulty in getting a grip with the polished notches. In terms of its general design, the Duro dial borrows elements from some of the most established dive watches on the market, adding just enough of its own spin to stand alone. Compared to the price, the raised loom-filled rectangular and circular indices stand out with a solid level of execution and contrast over the surrounding black or blue glossy dial surfaces. Polished faceted and loom pencil and arrow style hands indicate the time with the help of a narrow stick second hand with its own arrow tip and equipped with a red tip on the black dial variant for a welcome pop of color. A date window is easily viewed through a simple outlined aperture at three with only the Casio word mark at 12, a printed Marlin at six and water resistant 200 meters in simple text just below. The loom on the dial and hands also functions with usable level of incandescence, though it's not going to blow anyone away and fades rather quick compared to some of the competition in the price bracket just above. Overall, this is a legible, clean and attractive dial design that paired with the pretty remarkable finishing for $60 has helped to make this watch the affordable classic that it is. And while some find the quality of the dial printing to be lacking just a bit, especially in the case of the water resistance and the somewhat cheaper looking Marlin logo, it would be unfair to ask a just kind of flawless design here or just execution from a watch that costs less than the average sushi dinner for two. Now it is important to note that the second hand might not perfectly hit every marker. So if that is going to be a concern, just prepare yourself. However, these two examples are not horrible in this area, which could offer some confidence when you're maybe considering this. When critiquing the Duro, many enthusiasts will call out the mere presence of a quartz caliber, which although is silly from my perspective is a reality for some collectors. However, we also are talking about Casio a brand that prioritizes value and function over everything else. And when looking at the positioning and intended purpose of a watch like the Duro, Quartz simply makes a ton of sense. It keeps better time, is more durable and resistant to shocks, obviously is not gonna require winding, and will function without intervention for as long as the battery holds out, which many Duro users can report as long as three years plus, making the yearly cost of ownership truly ridiculous in the Duro's case. In terms of its general specifications, the Casio Caliber 26 784 module is a simple three-hander only complicated by a quick set operated date function in hacking seconds while also offering a level of accuracy of plus or minus 20 seconds a month well within the acceptable range for an inexpensive quartz watch and frankly as accurate as you'll ever actually require in short it's a solid reliable durable and accurate caliber that also checks off the boxes in terms of QC as we purchased both of these so that might just give a good idea of what you're going to get when you go ahead and purchase one of these yourselves so now with the over overview portion out of the way, let's just talk about the Casio Duro and just where I see it and I would say many enthusiasts see it positioned within the market. Now talking about just general pros and cons. Now in terms of a $60 dive watch. Now, can we really be that hard on it? Some people probably still will be because you are a watch enthusiast at the end of the day and we like to nitpick everything. But for $60, I think there's a great delivered package here. And this has just become the definitive beater, I would say for even some of the most seasoned enthusiasts out there and collectors out there. There are some drawbacks. Of course, the case size might size some people out. The loom isn't the best for the price category. And if you do not like quartz watches, then you'd probably be more inclined to go for something with the likes of Vostok if you just kind of want that that beater charm. But looking past those elements and just kind of the shortcomings made with the strap as well, it's hard to really knock the Casio Duro. If you look at this watch in person and you just see the finishing, I don't wanna overshoot and just say that the finishing on this piece is like ridiculous. It's not, it's pretty conventional, but we're talking about $60 here. And if I had to think of any dive watch that really comes close to this, that's made by a mainstream brand like a Casio, you're not gonna get really any better than this for the price range. Where it sits for $60, you're talking about entry level dive watches from a mechanical perspective. Those are gonna start becoming more available, at least to match the spec here, around $120 mark. So you're talking about throwing out maybe maybe getting a blue and a black dial for the same price of getting maybe an entry level mechanical. And even at that end, when you're talking about this price range of maybe being under $100, we know what the general use case is gonna be. You just want something that's reliable. You want something that can take a beating that just looks the part. And this watch simply does that. That's why it becomes such a beloved classic. And if I have to think of the definitive beater watch for any dive watch on the market, I think this is the one. If you can look past and get past the quartz snobbery, which personally I hate, I don't like how people just put down quartz 
just as an idea, because if you think about the intended purpose here, it just simply makes more sense. And the Duro, as beloved as it is, I even think in some ways it's almost not appreciated enough. You hear about a lot of the digital watches from Casio, but quite frankly, this is one of the best offerings that they have if you're going for an analog display and a watch. Uh, and simply put, if you've not checked out the Duro, have some fun. You probably are gonna spend more money on something, you know, maybe from paper towels when next time you go to the grocery store. Might as well have some fun with the Duro and have a watch that's gonna last for years down the road. But all right guys, that's my take on the Casio Duro. I'd love to hear your take down below in the comments. Do you own a Casio Duro? Do you think it's a great watch for the money? Do you think it's just a cheap, inexpensive quartz watch that is just totally overhyped? please leave those comments down below. Also, if you did enjoy this video, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and hit the bell icon. Also, check out teddybaldasar.com, full authorized dealer of over 30 brands, quick and fast fulfillment, dedicated customer support. Also offer a full factory warranty for all the products we offer. So definitely check out those just variety of dive watches we have at the more affordable perspective, and of course, beyond. Also, if you wanna stay up to date with the content, be sure to follow on Instagram. But guys, thank you again so much for watching. Be well, and I will see you all very soon.